after reading our story, I want us to make a card for someone that you live with that um, takes care of you, um, that may be a mother, a father, grandfather, grandmother, aunt, uncle, someone that um, makes sure that you eat every day and have clothes to wear. Because every home is different. There's no two homes just alike. So just um, whoever it is that you uh, want to write a card to, I think that person would really like that. So today I'm going to show you how to make a pop-up card. Um, but for our younger kiddos, you may just want to make just a regular card that just says Happy Mother's Day on the front or I love you on the front. If you're Now, these two cards have already been done. This one is an example of a pop-up card. It has a pop-up right here, this little square person. And then it says, I love you, love, and then my name. And... Um, so there's one, and here's another one. It says, I love you, and on the inside, there's a little girl that pops up, and it says, thanks for all you do for me, love, and then my name. If you'd like to learn how to make a pop-up card, you need two pieces of paper and some scrap paper. Now, with that, um, you could have a piece of construction paper and whatever color you have around on hand and a piece of copy paper um, just plain white paper you could also use notebook paper that would work as well use safety with scissors i'm using adult size scissors but you might have some child size scissors at home you could use those if you're a younger student please get help from an adult to do this activity if you don't have child size scissors at home. So I just um, have some scrap paper on hand and I just uh, wanna cut a little square part that's actually gonna be the part that pops up. So it's about two and a half inches um, on each side. Okay, and so there's my little square. And then I'm going to draw on it. Um, you can do whatever you want to. If you want to draw um, a heart, rainbows, flowers, whatever it is that you want to put uh, that pops up. So my pop-up part is done. So um, the little square piece. Now the next part that I need to do is I'm going to call this my insert because this is the page that's gonna go inside my card. Um, so I'm going to take each of those pieces and I'm going to fold those hamburger style. And I'm creasing it too when I fold it. Now hamburger style looks like this. And if it were hot dog style, that would look like this. It would be going a long ways and it looks like a hot dog bun, doesn't it? Okay. so it's hamburger style and I'm trying to make it all even and um, everything looks like a rectangle um, uh, here but um, just do the best you can to make your sides uh, fold up together there and then I'm going to take my construction paper I'm going to do the same thing with it I'm going to fold it hamburger style and I'm going to make my corners match up as best as I can there on one end i'm going to crease it and then i'm going to make sure it all matches up because if it doesn't i can redo it and um, try it again and just crease it down the middle like that and this is going to be the cover of my card and this is going to be the insert okay so the first thing i want to do is i'm going to get me a crayon and i'm going to write I love you. And then the insert. Now, on the insert, I'm not going to draw anything on the outside because in just a little bit, it's going to be glued inside. So you won't even see that. I'm going to draw some flowers on the bottom. I'm going to draw a sun on the side. When you have that insert and you do all of the, 
uh, things you're going to do there, um, then make sure that you do it on like the sides, all the way to the side or the bottom or top. Let's not put anything in the middle because that's the part that's going to be popping up and you won't be able to see it. Thank you. You're the best. Okay. And then I could go back later and I could trace it with a crayon if I want to. Okay, so um, now um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw and then go back later in color. Okay, so now I have two sides on the inside insert paper. Done. The next step is to put my pop-up in, okay? So what I'm going to do is take this insert paper and make sure that you're going to cut on the folded part because sometimes we get mixed up and we cut on the, um, the part that doesn't um, fold. I want to do like about an inch, almost an inch cut. Then I'm going to slide my paper over and make another inch cut. And that's going to be my part that pops up. See, the cut, part I cut flaps. It's just a flabby part right there now. So, and it's the part that's going to be pushed through. You're just going to push that through, and when you push it through, you just fold it down and crease it, okay, so that it pops up. So let me show you what I'm talking about. So you just do that. Okay, and that's upside down, isn't it? And see, my son's way up here, okay, on the bottom. So we need to make sure that we put it right side up whenever we get ready to glue it inside of our cover the card cover okay this is the front of the card okay it opens up like that so make sure that you when you get ready to glue this insert into the cover then you're doing the right thing now what i'm going to do first is when i glue you can use glue stick or uh, bottle glue if you want or if you don't have any of those at home you could also use tape and that works good too so before I get ready to glue, I just want to focus on one side at a time. So I'm going to glue this side and then attach it inside the card. Always check to be sure it's not upside down. And then I'm going to glue the other side really good. And then I'm going to attach it to the other side of the card. So I put glue all over here. So I'm going to put it in the card and press down so that it attaches really really good and then you see now i've got it i've got one side already glued see how nice okay and then this side's ready to glue so i'm just going to fold it down and i'm going to glue all around and i'll show you what it looks like I'm just glue only the insert i'm not gluing any of my construction paper cover i'm just only gluing the part that is um, the insert so now both sides are pressed down on your construction paper there. It's a good idea probably to go ahead and do all your coloring like I did with these ones earlier, the other cards that I did. It's a good idea to go ahead and do those, the coloring and everything first before you start gluing. I've got my card, the outside of it looks like this. Open it up and it's got its little part that pops out. Now when I glue my square, remember I drew a heart and I colored it. And I, when I glue it inside, I'm only going to glue it on one side of the pop-up part. Okay, so that it pops up. Don't put any glue right here. Only put glue right here on this side that's facing the person that opens up the card. Okay, so do that. Just put your glue on the one side that's folded there on the pop-up part only, okay? Notice I did not put any glue right here, only on that one side, okay? Then I'm gonna take my little heart there and I'm gonna put it up against the card just like that, okay? So that I've got my card 
ready to go. Okay, and so, all right, it is ready to go, and it really needs to dry good. It's got our cover, I love you. It's got our insert, our pop-up. So I think it's a lot of fun. It's a different way to do a card. But you can still just do a card that is just a plain piece of paper or construction paper. And those are fun too because um, your mom or granny or aunt or whoever you're making it for is really going to appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you.